Here we'll be going over value notifier and value listenable builder. A value listenable builder will listen to a value notifier and then rebuild once that value notifier changes. So if you have a value notifier of type int and it's set to zero and then something changes it to one, the value listenable builder will rebuild its widgets since the value notifier has changed. We'll be demonstrating this in a simple example, simulating server calls checking whether our friend count has increased or decreased. Let's code this shit. Delete the comments to forward slash as a dot and asterisk and select regex. Replace all with blank and format. Let's make the other three files we'll need. Right click on lib, new file. I'm naming it screen1.dart. Insert a stateless widget and import the material package. Right click on lib, new file, name it screen2.dart. Insert a stateless widget, import the material package. New file, name it countdata.dart. Create a new class, name it countdata, just leave it empty for now. Back in main.dart, I'm going to paste in our new my homepage state. We just have our scaffold, column, expanded, and page view. And we'll also be adding a bottom navigation bar. Add a page controller for our page view. Make a change page method. This will be called by page views on page changed whenever you swipe to the different screens listed within the children. Change page will just set state and set selected index to the past index, which will apply to our bottom navigation bar. Make our selected index int and set it to zero. Import the screen 1 and screen 2 files. Here I pasted in our bottom navigation bar. You can see that current index is set to selected index. And on tap is set to on bottom nav bar item tapped. Make on bottom nav bar item tapped. Set state, have selected index equal index. And then page controller dot jump to page and pass an index. This allows our bottom nav bar and our page view to work together. If you save everything, you'll see we have an error. We'll fix that here in a second. In our bottom navigation bar items, we add two bottom navigation bar items and hot reload to fix the error. Head back up and make an init state. Make your super dot init state call and set your page controller with a page controller of an initial page of zero. So when the app starts, our page controller will be set with an initial page of zero, which is our profile screen. And after hot restarting, you can tap on the bottom nav bar or swipe with page view and everything should work. Head to countdata.dart, make a static value notifier of type int called count. We'll set it to a value notifier with a default of 10. So our count will initially be set to 10. Now if you were doing this with a server, you would probably have value notifier set to zero and then an init state, you'd go and fetch that data and set it to that. Import the material library and then make two void methods called add1 and subtract1. Our add1 method will just take the count.value and then add1 to it, and then our subtract1 method will just take the count.value and subtract1 from it. These buttons will simulate our server calls where if we fetch the data and our data was different, the value notifier of count would change. Head back to screen 1, change your build method to look like this. The only thing of real importance is the value listenable builder. You see that our value listenable field is set to countdata.count, and that our builder returns a text that contains countdata.count.value. And you can see that our builder contains a context, a subcount, and a child. The subcount is our value. You can name it whatever you want. So our builder will be updated whenever our value listenable changes. So even being in a stateless widget, the value listenable builder will rebuild whenever that value changes. Now head over to screen 2 and set that up. We'll have three buttons. The first will call count data subtract one method. The second will call count one's add one method. The third will call count data's add one method after a three second delay. Import and initialize our count data class. Hot reload and you'll see that the buttons have been added to our second screen. Head back to main.dart and we're going to change our one bottom navigation bar item. You see that we changed the icon to a value listenable builder. The value listenable being the count data dot count. And we're having the builder return a stack. The stack will contain the icons dot person icon no matter what. But you see that we have two if conditions. The first, if the sub count is greater than the start count, the sub count being the value from the builder, and the start count, which we haven't created yet, which will be the initial count fetched from the server on app start. So essentially, if the new value is greater than the old value, then we will show a container containing the text of the plus amount that we've gained since app start. And since it's in a stack, it'll show above the icons.person icon. And then if the sub count is less than the start count, meaning we lost friends or whatever it is, then we'll have a container containing text just saying minus whatever the number is that we've lost. So now just import your count data file. Go up and create your start count in.
and then set it in init state. Here I'm just setting it to count data dot count dot value. But in a real life application, this is where you'd go and fetch that data from the server. And in that case, since it'll be a server call, you're probably going to have it set up in a future builder somewhere. Now hot restart the app, otherwise you might get an error. Now the app should be working. If you tap the add one button, you should see in the bottom navigation bar the plus one appear. And if you hit subtract one, you should see the red minus number appear. And if you tap delay add one and head back to the first screen, you should see that both values update. The one on the screen and the one in the bottom nav bar. So there you have it. Value listen will build a rebuilding itself once the value notifier changes and also making that value notifier accessible to all classes using static. And also remember you don't need a stateful widget for the value listenable builder to rebuild itself.